All right, all right, all right, all right. This is Ford Entertainment Group. I'm gonna go over the sim racing apps. Sim racing apps. Uh, first things first, if you need a PC, 495 shipped. It'll run iRacing 100 and 150 frames per second. All right, sim racing apps, why we're here. Uh, what is it? Sim racing apps is an app that's very useful for pretty much any racing game. This one's gonna, uh, I'm just gonna show it as it applies to iRacing this time. Okay, so here's sim, race app, sim racing apps. First thing you gotta do is you need to download it right here. You click download. Hi, Bell. You click, I'm streaming something real quick then. Oh. Okay, so you download sim racing apps right here. Okay, you double click that. And then once it completes downloading, once it completes downloading, you go go here. Okay. Then you, I'll redo it. I can't redo it. Okay. Sim racing app server. Double click that. Okay. And then what it's gonna do? It's gonna load up your server, which will look like that. What you need to pay attention to is this portion right here. Okay, 192.168.1.11. Yours will be something different than mine, but remember that number right there, okay? Now, you take that number, you go 192, whatever yours is going to be, 0.168.1.11. Yours is going to be something different, okay? But just put it in right there. Okay, and then you're going to have this screen show up. And here's all the things that you can do. If you want to be a crew chief, uh, I'll click on it just so you can see it. Uh, you can change all four tires. You can uh, just fuels in right sides, just right sides, left sides. You can put this on a iPad, on your iPhone, and you just tap it. It's just like a virtual button box. And of course, you have other information here. Let me make it a little bit bigger. Other information here. Okay. So let's get you know, other ones that you can do. I mean, there's tons of ones that you can do. I'll just double click again, crew chief large. Okay, so, uh, so you got a crew chief. I got a practice session going right now, right here. So there's guys actually riding around the track. You can see their numbers right here going around. Okay. You can see them going around. You can see how fast they're going. If you look over here, you can see pits, best, last, uh, their names things such as that you can change your radio your radio here this is if you have like a, a crew chief or whatever he can do all kinds of things here you can change your PSI uh, just just some more things okay uh, some of the things that I like to use it for and you can go over all these as well um, like say you're a, a league administrator you're, you're a race administrator uh, and you want to uh, advance the session from practice to qualifying, you can just click here, advanced session. Of course, this is a, a practice room, so it's not going to do it. Uh, so you say you're a race admin, say 54 is doing something you shouldn't be doing, you can just uh, go go over here, say, uh, let's see, disqualify, and then boom, click his number and he's disqualified. Uh, you can clear all penalties in case people get black flagged for things that they shouldn't. Uh, say you want someone to get a wave around, you click on them, you can click wave around. So this one's pretty useful. Um, spotter broadcaster, I use this one as a broadcaster. It'll give you the running current running order. Uh, you can see the cars going around here. You can change the cameras right here, as you can see. Uh, you can change to whatever, say we're watching car number 12 right here, and you want to watch car number 9. You can click right there on 9, and the camera goes directly to 9. So this one's pretty cool. Uh, but what can you do as a driver? What can you use? Oh, if you're a streamer also, it'll have everything set up right here for you. You can stream. It's pretty cool. It's got all your gauges. Stuff like that. Um... If you want to say you have a, another screen and you want your oil pressure larger, you know, you, you can go through all these. Uh, but let me just show you the, what some of the main ones that I use. I like to use, let's see, if I can get to it. Okay, fuel tank right here. Displays fuel remaining using the worst lap and last two average. No. I do last two, using last two laps average. So I click on this. I like to use this one right here. Okay, and it'll tell you. Uh, how many 
uh, laps you can go on what you have based off of your last two laps calculation and how much you need to put in and how much you should be adding so I really like that one uh, there's some other ones here um, pick commander a lot of guys like this one you put it on your iPhone or an iPad you can put it on a mount on your rig and say you just want left sides only just uh, if you have your iPad just use your finger fuel and left sides only fuel and right sides only rights only lefts only however you want to do it you can see everything here you can see your brake bias you can change that everything um, they're, they're great for streaming too you can put these in the corner and you can see everything but uh, that's pretty much it it's uh it's pretty useful standings if you want it vertical however you want it um, say you don't have your team speak open in front of you you can click on this and what it'll do is it'll I don't have team speak open so it's not showing it but uh, it'll tell you who's talking you know I can put the time up so t uh, tons of things to do uh, the track map of course I like to track map because say I'm like in 10th 15th place and there's eight or nine to go and I need to know if the lead, the lead cars are going into the pits so I can decide if I'm going to go into pits uh, you can see that in advance even though you might not be able to see them in front of you you can tell if they're going into the pits so that's useful for that but uh, that's all the stuff now remember to get here you just you'll have this number right here 192.168.1 yours will be something different but just remember whatever it is and then you just put it up here 192.168.1.11 hit it and then it gives you all your options that you can do here so it's pretty cool so just to recap uh, we'll go to the this is gonna be a quick recap simracingapps.com you go down here you click you just double click left click and it's gonna download it down to here okay once it downloads to whatever folder you have, it's going to show up right here. You double click that. When you double click that, this is going to show up. It'll, it'll go through to about 10, 15 seconds before it shows up completely. And then you have this number right here that shows up. Once you get that number there, you put it up here in your web browser. 2.168.1.11. Enter. And then there's all the options that you have that you can use. You know, you want to be a crew chief, double click on it. And then you can pull that into uh, another screen. You know, if you have three, four, or five screens, say you have a fourth screen and you're running triple wides, bring that to your fourth screen. Uh, or you can, uh, you know, pull whatever you want out there. Oil temps. Just there's a multitude of things. Just go through them all. <clears throat> I like to use uh, basically the fuel. That's what I like right there. I like the fuel to see how many laps I can go, especially in league races that go long. But uh, hopefully that's uh, helped you guys out. Uh, if you haven't already, uh, go ahead and like and subscribe. As you can see, I'm streaming it live right now. But uh, yeah, uh, Sim Racing Apps is really cool. Another thing it also does that I really like is um, as you're going into the pits, okay? You're going into the pits. It will count down your pit stalls. I forgot to add that there. So it'll say... Uh, five seconds four seconds three seconds two seconds so you uh so you're less likely to uh miss your pit stall uh but one thing before you open sim racing apps so it will start calling that out to your proper audio source whether it be your headset or your monitor or wherever you want it to go out to make sure you come over here to the to the volume go to playback and set whatever you uh you can see i got a lot of audio devices set to whatever you want it to go through whatever you want sim rack racing apps to talk to you so right click and uh, uh put it as uh your default so oh, I don't know what that is. so hopefully that helps you out uh if you're thinking about uh, uh getting sim racing apps it's free of course and uh i highly recommend it. i really like the calling out your your pit box deal so that's sim racing apps hopefully it helps somebody out